Welcome to dinner guys. So I thought I would share with you guys what I'm making for dinner tonight. We had chicken the other night for dinner. Um, I made like five chicken breasts and Brian and I both had one each and so there's three left over. Then last night we went to Mexican with our neighbors. So tonight I thought that I would use those chicken breasts and cut them up and put them in this is delicious and I just kind of came up with this recipe. Um, well, I take that back. I didn't just come up with this recipe. I just made this recipe because I just saw it on like my Facebook feed and I'm like, that looks easy, that looks simple, and it looks delicious. So that's what I did. Basically all I did is I took some, I had some broccoli cutlets inside of the freezer and I just threw a little bit in here, chopped up some of that chicken, so it's kind of like chunky chicken. I used a package of cream cheese um, and cream of mushroom soup and cream of chicken soup inside of this. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is to die for. It is so good, it is so creamy, and I really hope that Brian likes it. I think that he might, but I don't know, he's very picky, but I know I like it because I've already tried a sample of it, and then, I don't know if this is too much, but I put some, I'm making some rice to go with it. Um, Cause I think even rice added into this would be so good. So I'm just gonna make some rice and you know, we can decide if we wanna have it on the side or not. But I just thought I would um, share that with you guys and let you guys see what I was making for dinner tonight. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I hope that you guys try this cause it's so simple and easy and it is so good. And then I will let you guys know if Brian likes it or not, but I know I like it, so <laughs> I'm having dinner tonight. Good morning, friends, and happy Thursday. Today, I am headed out to get an oil change and get water for our house. We get the big water jugs and we put them on the water machine here at the house. Um, we are out, and I was out yesterday and I I didn't go get any water and I'm telling you right now my body is like thirsty for water. Yes, I know I can drink from the sink. Yes, I know I can get it from the refrigerator. It's just not the same. When I'm so used to this like bottled water that um, I have to have the bottled water. Sorry, just call me a little, what is that called? High maintenance, but I'm not. I just like that water, that's all. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today and I'm. My necklace, I gotta find it, and ooh, I don't know what I did with it. I always put it somewhere. I think it's in my, yeah, it's in my, it's in my glam room. And then I was on the phone with my mother this morning. Um, we are just kind of like confirming and getting our um, plans together. I wanna sit you guys here for a second kind of getting our plans together for our little trip in September. Um, some of you guys know, if you guys follow me on my Facebook page, I kind of put out there the other day, um, I have an option, I could go to, I could go to Disney for the week, or I could spend that week on a, on a, on a road trip with my mom and go do, oh my gosh, and go do some stuff with her. And obviously everybody's, Oh my gosh, come on. Like, I can always get this every single day in the day that I can't get it. Um, anyway, there I got it. Party. So, what was I saying? Um, going on the road trip with my mom. Yes. Um, so everybody kind of said, you only have one mom. They don't last forever. You need to go on this road trip with your mom. So, and I had pretty much planned on it, but sometimes my mom can be a little flaky and she is not one to like plan things out like right now so like right now it's like too early for her to like plan anything and book things and buy tickets and and all this good stuff where me i'm just like no we'll book it now we'll get tickets now we'll do it all now and she's just not like this she's like yeah but i don't know i can't make up my mind and i'm like well too bad we're going anyway so the plan is we are going to go on this road trip in September and we are going to have fun. That is the main thing. So right now, that is what we're doing. So I'm just, I gotta put these, this is the water that I'm talking about right there. So I gotta put those in the trunk and then, 
get myself, I think I'm gonna start the car first and get the air running because, oh, Angie, I am just like, I just can't. These hot flashes are gonna be the death of me. And I know there's like women for years have survived this and women right now are surviving it. But it's just like, it is pure torture right now. Just pure torture. Ugh. Air. And that's all I care about is like having the air on or being in front of a fan or having something to wipe my face down with. And like I, if I'm still, if like I'm in the middle of a hot flash, I um, won't get out of the car until the hot flash is completely gone. And then I could go into the store and do my, conduct my business and then leave quickly. Oh God, so bad, you guys. I do not, like, these hot flashes, I just don't, I've been taking like, um, Estrovin, so as to keep them, like, not so bad or whatever at night, but I just don't know what, like, I don't know. I don't want to go to a doctor because I'm not like much on a doctor thing, but these things just don't, like, quit. I know they're not gonna quit, so I need to just stop talking about it, right? Because it's just, it's just something that's gonna be part of my life for the next 10 years. Isn't that lovely? Well, 10 years without my kids went by quick. Maybe 10 years with this crap will go by quicker. We shall see. Dying. All right, so I'm wearing my cute little shirt that I got at Lane Bryant and my cute little shorts with the scalloped edges. They're so cute. Um, I love them so much. I'm so happy that I got them. Uh, and I actually texted Lisa yesterday and told her that I went and got the um, two pair of them. I got the periwinkle and the white ones. And she was actually wearing the white ones the other day. So I was like, oh my God, I love them so much. Um, and then, guys, so, when my mom and I go on this trip, our, tr our plan is to go to Graceland, go to Memphis, um, do Beale Street, do, um, I want to go to the Martin Luther King place, um, yes, I heard, and I'm texting my neighbor back, this is probably, this is like my life right here, so it probably is sad. Um, my mom, oh, how cute! My mom, she's been like, she's so funny, she's been like into these uh, making wreaths and stuff. So my mom made that wreath, can you guys see that? Look how cute that wreath is. Oh my gosh, so cute. Um, I don't think she should, root. I don't think she should, I think she should just leave it like that. Ah, just leave it like that. Don't add anything. She wanted to add like sunflowers to it. Um, adding sunflowers and bees. She wanted to put bees on it. Well, be, ha <laughs> ha, well, be. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Adding sunflowers and bees will be <laughs> too much. That's so funny. So we'll see what she says. Alrighty. So I'm gonna go. I put those in the trunk. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Um, and then uh, it's so funny too because this whole week too I've been like looking up um, cruises and stuff like that, which everybody has everybody has been like totally commenting and stuff on the cruises and giving me some like good advice or whatever for cruises um totally thank you guys for all of that um i uh that's why i'm not going to disney this year well anymore this year because you know brian wanted to do something completely different and then when lisa mentioned it the other day about going on a cruise brian's like yeah 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 let's we can totally do that let's go on a cruise so i've been like really looking hard for cruises and my thing is, so that my mom texts me back. Oh, Sandy. Um, that's what we said. They said the body is in condition indicative being water one or two days. That means that they killed that kid soon after it was, yeah. 
Yep, crazy. There was a, this is me up too, it's so senseless, yep. I'm guessing it's because of drugs. Okay, so this is what happened. So, this is where we live, here in Loganville. There is a young kid, he's a pharmacist at our local Publix, and I mean, I don't know who he is, never, I don't think I've ever seen him. I mean, I may have passed him or whatever in the store, but anyway, no, no. Um, he was a pharmacist kidnapped the other day. Who, who, who abducts a pharmacist? Anyway, um, so, and then this morning they um, found a body, how sad in the lake around here like, I don't know we have lakes where, where, where are the lakes around here anyway they found a, there was a lake and they found the kid's body or not the kid they found a body in the lake um, that they it hasn't been a, po a positive ID yet of this young man but um, you know I think it's it's gonna be him which is super sad um, but I'm thinking who the heck abducts a pharmacist okay people who want drugs right that's what I'm thinking people who want drugs abduct a pharmacist I don't know just saying that could probably be it um, but so sad I just I'm just like oh so sad and for it to be like right here in my town it's just sad I mean you, you can't go anywhere anytime and not be afraid of anything your surroundings when life was so simple and easy oh speaking of life being simple and easy look at simple and easy life out here out on the farm it's a simple and easy life oh he's selling it how cute um anyway it's just, it's one of those things where you just never know where you go, where you're at. Anything could happen anytime, anywhere, at any moment. And it's just sad. And Brian and I think about that all the time. That's kind of what we were saying last night. It's just so sad that anything could happen. And right, the Publix, that's the Publix that we go to. We shop at that Publix. Um, so it's very scary and very sad. But I'm guessing it's probably drug related, like whoever abducted him was just in it for drugs because who abducts a pharmacist so anyway so sad okay i'm sorry guys i don't mean to be like a debbie downer my god so let's go let's start talking about the cruises again okay so the cruise brian and i are thinking about going on a seven day cruise i shared that with you guys the other day that's the reason why i am not spending money on going to disney because of that um but we are, we want to, I think we want to leave from either Tampa or, um, like Port Canaveral. Um, that way we can just park, we can drive there ourselves and then park. Miami is just a little too far to drive and we don't want to fly because we're like defeating the purpose of having a sail on this cruise line and having to book a flight that's going to cost us 500 more dollars. So it's like, eh, um, so we'll see we shall see i'm trying we're trying to figure it all out we're trying to figure it out and then um we got the quote back from the guy regarding our deck now mind you i wanted to, i wanted a rather large deck and we asked for two prices or two quotes one for just a flat deck and then one for um with the overhead would just be you know like a roofing type of thing overhead um yeah eighty five hundred dollars yeah, that's how much it's going to cost or how much it, it it would cost if we decided to have it done so i think we're skipping that for right now um, because right now brian is working on some stuff with his company um and so he he we can't do anything right now because of this whole like company thing um so there's just some things in the works right now that is tying us tying us up with some finances and stuff so we can't do anything right this moment after everything goes through which yesterday he went and had a conversation with somebody and everything looks pretty good so far so good so we're just keeping our fingers crossed and hoping that um yeah hoping that it all works out i'm gonna start stop chatting now and just like go because I'm sure you guys are bored by now. I've probably been talking for eight minutes. All right, okay, guys, bye. so <laughs> I got my water. It's in the trunk, and now I am at Target. Um, I need to pick up some laundry detergent and my little um, beads that I like for my 
laundry yeah we know what those are right um but first things first i've got to go pee so let's go take a stroll through target because we all love all right, target PP complete and now i'm going to check out these oh these are ceramic these are cute so like the little farmhouse stuff here cutting board oh, that's a cute cutting board i like that because i have an idea angie has an idea this is cute too. It's like a tin. Eat local, fresh flowers. That's cute. And they have these like magnolia flowers. And these jars. Those are cute. Lots of cute stuff here. They still have pool supplies. Awesome. Nothing else interesting in the dollar spot. Cute. Oh, they have a mini little letter board. Look, there's a mini one. So that's $5 for a mini one. How cute is that? That's cute. You guys, I love these cute little like slipper socks. Those are so cute. I'm gonna grab these. These are so cute. Look at them. They've got the gray ones. They got white ones and they have black ones. Okay, those are cute. Those are mine. And I like these too. These are all so fun and cool. Just different Mickey socks, colors. That's so cute. These ones are $5. These ones are eight. You guys, Very they cute. even have um, Disney Otter Boxes here too. They've got this one, which is super cute, but look at the price. Not getting those. But they have Snow White, Belle, Little Mermaid, Mulan, Jasmine. They have a lot of them. Cool. Some of their Disney stuff is on clearance. This is a hammock. It was regular $19.99. They have it on sale for $7.48. That's cute. There's the totes. Very cute. Little baskets. They have those. This stuff is all on sale. Cute. Lots of cute stuff on sale here. Oh, this is cute. This is a table runner. That's a Disney table runner. How cute is that? That one's $6.48. That's cute. Oh, look. They have these here. This is what my mom bought me. They're $5 for this. How cute. When you get the graham crackers, marshmallows, and the Hershey's. I need to stick it inside of here. You guys, these are five dollars. You guys totally need these. So freaking cute. Who can I get that for as a gift? Because that's so freaking cute. I don't have anybody to get that for. What? That's so cute. They have these towels here too, which are the Disney towels, but they're round. They have these, they're $19.99. And I think they're all 30% off. But I don't there's no sticker on them or anything like that. Like this one's $9.99. So they're probably like $9.99. That's what I'm guessing. They have all of these, which are $1.98. Those are cute. Alright, hey guys. So I thought I'd I'd sit down really quick and share with you a few of the things that I picked up on my Target run. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start with my first, the things that I picked up first at Lowe's. I wanted to show you guys these first because I did go to Lowe's today because I had to pick up some water. And while I was there, I knew that I needed to get some more of these. These are those little Ziploc totes that I love storing all of my like seasonal pillows in when I'm not using, when I'm not using, when I'm not using my um, seasonal pillows like Valentine's, 4th of July, Christmas, etc., etc. I always like to store them inside of these little bags. Um, these are so nice and handy and they just keep your pillows nice and fresh and I can just toss them in the closet and they are nice and secure. Um, they usually fit about four pillows in one little container, um, but um, I always like these. These are really good. I think they're like $8.99 at um, Lowe's and I picked up three of them. So um, that closet that's in the other room, yeah, there's some loose pillows in there that I'm actually getting ready to use because I'm gonna put all my 4th of July stuff away. And then I'm gonna store the 4th of July pillows um, in some of those totes as well. Alrighty, uh, so the next thing um, that I picked, well, let's just go to Target. So now Target, um, 
So I picked up a Target. Okay, first things first, I picked up some Tide Pods because I was about out. I think I have three left in my little container in the laundry room. I will just pour this inside of my little container and um, I'm all good to go for Tide Pods. Um, this one, I don't know, how does it say? How many washes do these? 35, 35 capsules, so 35 washes. That's not too bad. And then I picked up some Cascade because I was about out. I... Um, do not like the like Mrs. Myers or the seventh generation um, uh, like dishwasher pods. Those ones for some reason always they my dishes come out with white powdery uh, stuff all over them. I don't think they dissolve very well. So I'm gonna stick to the Cascade because um, I like those. And then I picked up some more. Of, now look at this. You guys know how much I was like the, the liking the pink um, uh, Unstoppables from Downey. They did not have the pink this time, but I did get a green one, this green one, uh, like two weeks ago when Brian and I were at Lowe's, and I've been using it like crazy. I'm almost out, and I'm loving the way this one smells now. So I don't know if like my nose gets used to the scent that I was using, and then when I change scents, it's like, I love them. But anyway, I got this one. And then in the dollar spot, this is so cute. This is a cute little like cutting board, wooden cutting board. It's like trimmed out in black. It was $3. I just thought it was really cute. I have an idea in my head of what I want to do and where I want to put this. So as soon as that idea comes to fruition, I will share that with you guys. Um, I picked up some more Nivea chapstick because you guys know how much I'm obsessed with this stuff. And I seen it, so I grabbed it. I always have to have some of that laying around. I picked up two of these um, travel size uh, Tresemme um, hairspray for my travel bag. We are leaving for Savannah next week. And I knew from our travels a couple of weeks ago that I was about out of my hairspray and needed it. And then um, you guys probably saw earlier, um, I picked up these little socks. These are so cute. And these are like, not like regular, like full socks. These are just more like, like house footies, I think. But um, of course, because they had Minnie Mouse and stuff on them and they were Disney, um, I had to get these. These were $8 um, over like in the socks section. Super cute, can't wait to wear those. And then um, I picked up this shirt because I with my, I'm thinking I might wear this with my new um, periwinkle shorts that I got from Lane Bryant. This is just a cute little like tanky shirt. It's got really, it's real thin, really lightweight. It's kind of got that pretty little periwinkle color in it. So I thought maybe this would be really pretty. Um, even if I paired it with um, a pair of like pink shorts or navy blue shorts, it would still be pretty because that's kind of what the color is here, navy blue. But I also thought um, I could also put, if I got chili or whatever, <laughs> which I don't get chilly, but if I happen to get chilly, um, I could actually put on a cute little cardigan with it as well. So um, anyway, I liked it. This was $20. So I'll probably be bringing this with me next week on our trip. And then um, this is my Ultimate Flora. This is my probiotic that I take every single day to uh, keep my IBS like, you know, uh, not as bad. I'm trying to think of a word. I can't think of a word. I'm trying to keep my keep me from getting sick every single day. There you go. Um, anyway, Ultimate Flora, got that. It's actually 17, it's like $18 at Target when it was like $24.99 at Kroger. So I'm like, I'll go to Target and get it. And then because Angie is going through the first stages of menopause, I picked up some more Estrovin. This is the Healthy Metabolism and Weight Management. Um, it helps reduce hot flashes and night sweats, promotes healthy metabolism, and helps manage weight. Um, it probably doesn't help manage weight when I can't stop eating those dang cookies. Speaking of which, I can't find anywhere anymore. Um, so, and then the last thing, oh no, two things, two more things. Um, the last thing that I, oh, thing that I picked up next, Look how cute this little metal bucket is. It says, Happy Camper. It was $1.50. What? It's so cute. So I thought maybe I could like, you know, put this outside on the patio, put some, you know, a candle in it, or keep my napkins in there for when people are sitting around the table, because like we always sit around the table out there. But anyway, I just thought it was cute. And for $1.50, I'm like, uh, yeah, it's got Mickey on it. Of course I want it. Um, and then lastly, I picked up a new, because I need one of these, right? Um, this is a new 2018-2019 um, planner. This one starts um, in January this month. So I thought this would be a really nice thing to have with me because, um, like, see, like this month, which is January, it's almost over. Um, 
we're gonna be gone next week August is coming up I have a few things planned in August um, and then my September trip with my mom in September coming up and I want to make sure that I have um, a schedule and a calendar with me so I know exactly where I'm going I can jot things down to places where I want to go places that I want to see when I'm on my road trip with my mom um, so I picked up this planner and they have all of their school supplies and stuff out now um, and this was over by this like school supply section I just love the colors on it too it was just it just grabbed me and it just said you need to take me home so I did. Um, I think it was like $7.99. So this will be in my purse, um, in my bag. But um, that's it for Target. Yeah. So let's uh, let's go back to your regularly scheduled vlog, shall we? And then I stopped off at Kroger <laughs> and picked up two more of my turmeric. This stuff has been amazing as well for me. I've been taking one every single day. Um, I leave my ultimate flora out and my turmeric and my estrogen, which this is empty. But this is on our second... Um, bottle of turmeric and Brian I both take this so now I have two more because it was buy one get one free at Kroger so I will gladly just store those right up there and then I picked up some bagel bites because this is what I'm having for lunch today because it's so good and then I got a coke and I know you shouldn't drink coke when you are having menopause because it just causes more hot flashes and then i picked up some popsicles because i have been eating these things like crazy so they were two for five so i picked up these two things and ladies i'm gonna have some lunch now and i'm gonna wipe the sweat off of my face and then i'm going to try to cool down for a little bit <sighs> Yay. Alrighty guys, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog for today. I was just working on my Amazon account and linking um, some of the items that I have purchased to my uh, description box um, below under, under my YouTube channel. Um, somebody had asked a question um, if I could link the cardigan that I was wearing um, to my YouTube channel and I did and I also um, linked sorry I also linked um, it on my Facebook page which is Angie in Wonderland if you guys are not following me over on Instagram which is Angie in the letter in which is I'm gonna put right here in Wonderland and my Facebook page Angie in Wonderland you guys can go over there and watch our watch and follow me over there and then I actually added some links to Target for back to school shopping for your kiddos backpacks and clothing and I actually added my um, shopping list on Amazon so you guys can go over there and shop on my Amazon and I actually put a few new items up on my posh closet so if you guys are interested in looking through posh you guys can do that um, but as for now, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. I totally love you guys. Bye.